Hello people, I'm doing a series of guides for people who have certain playstyles in Overwatch but do not know which character they should pick. Now the first hero I will be doing a guide for would be Mercy. Mercy has four abilities, well five really. She has her passive, Angelic Descent, she has her Caduceus Staff, her Caduceus Blaster, her Guardian Angel, and her Resurrect ability. Now first let's talk about her passive, Angelic Descent. While airborne, Mercy can press and hold the jump button to vary her falling speed. Holding on to the jump button will make her fall slower. Letting go of the jump button will make her falling speed increase. Now this is very useful when dodging people's attacks while you're floating around in the air. Also, Mercy's Angelic Descent will allow her to regain health after 3 seconds of not taking damage. This is very important because otherwise Mercy would not have any other way to heal herself. So she'd just be taking punishment in the game and be low health. And as a support, you want to keep the health packs and everything else with the other characters. So this allows Mercy to be able to heal the other characters in the game and heal herself if she's not taking any more damage. She's primary weapon, the Caduceus Staff. Now the Caduceus Staff serves two purposes. You can be used for healing, which is very, very good for it. The Caduceus Staff heals for 50 HP per second. That means that it does a great job against consistent damage like against a Tracer or a Soldier 76 or anyone else who can't burst you down. But if you get shot by a Widowmaker or a Hanzo in the head, or if you let McCree get too close to your hero and he just right click you to death, then the Caduceus Staff won't do much to save you from that. Also, the Caduceus Staff can be used for amplifying people's damage. So if you use that damage amplification for a hero like a Reaper or a Bastion, they will be able to mow down their targets with super, super, super efficiency. Now Mercy's third ability I will talk about is Guardian Angel, which is very, very important to Mercy's kit. It allows Mercy to fly towards targeted allies that she's either healing or that she's looking at. Now the reason that this is so important is because it lets Mercy either get to low targets that are about to die that she can heal, or it lets Mercy get away from danger like a reaper right behind her and get close to a tank or someone to shield her. A lot of people do not know this, but if you use Mercy's Guardian Angel along with Pharah, you can stay in the air with Pharah as long as you use Mercy's Guardian Angel along with Angelic Descent Prop. Guardian Angel is a very important tool in terms of situating yourself properly in a team fight. You can also cancel Guardian Angel anytime during the use of it by toggling the Guardian Angel button again. Now last but definitely not least is Mercy's ultimate ability, Resurrect. When you activate Resurrect, Mercy will be able to revive any teammate that has recently died around her. It's as simple as that. A teammate dies, you can resurrect it. But not all Resurrects are created equally and you'll have to decide when you're going to use Resurrect and how many people you're going to resurrect at that time. Now you can resurrect 5 people or you can resurrect 1 person. But you'll have to decide whether you want to save your resurrect or you want to resurrect your tank to help push the payload. Or if you want to wait until that reaper uses his ultimate and you want to resurrect everyone after he uses his ultimate. Now the thing about resurrect is it has a cast time. That means that it has some time that it uses to resurrect people, which means that you're going to be standing still, which means you're going to be open to a lot of people being able to kill you. So if you're doing that big four to five man resurrect, you're probably going to die if the enemy team is around you because while you're busy resurrecting, they'll be busy shooting and they'll be shooting you because you're the only person who's targetable at that time. Now a lot of people will say you should play a champion like Mercy if you're not as good at the other aspects of first person shooters like aiming, like reactions, etc. But in my opinion, Mercy's will probably have to be the most trained person on the team. Mercy's will have to be the most patient on the team because they'll need to know when to use their ult. They'll need to be the people who are the smartest on the team and the most attentive on the team because they'll need to know when the Reaper on the enemy team has his ult or the Hanzo has his ult or the McCree has his ult. Because if you die with your ult, you won't be able to resurrect anyone. But if you know that the Reaper or the Hanzo has his ult, you'll be able to stay away from your teammates until the time is right to swoop in and use your resurrect ultimate and change the whole fight that just happened. Now I know a lot of people are probably saying, you said Mercy had 5 abilities, what about the Caduceus Blaster? Now, in my opinion, the Caduceus Blaster is not very important for Mercy, because a great Mercy will probably never have to use a Caduceus Blaster. In my opinion, Mercy should never be alone, which means she should never really have to 1v1 another hero. You should be able to either heal a hero to keep you alive, to save you, or you should be able to amplify your hero's damage by 
to help him kill the person attacking you faster, and you should be able to use your guardian angel to get away from any threat. Now also, in my opinion, the most important part about mercy play is knowing how to position yourself and when to go in for your ult. A useless mercy or the most useless mercy is a mercy that's always in the front line and that's always dead. You cannot heal anyone when, when you're dead. You cannot amplify someone's damage when you're dead. You cannot resurrect when you're dead. The most important part about mercy is staying alive and knowing when you're able to heal someone and knowing when you're able to amplify someone's damage. So it's probably best for Mercy to stay in the back line and to stay far away from your teammates while also healing them and amplifying their damage. Now hopefully this guide helped you understand how Mercy plays a little bit better and hopefully it helps you understand what play type correlates to the best Mercy play that you can possibly have. Now, in my opinion, the best thing about Overwatch is the type that no matter how you play first person shooters, no matter how you play video games, you'll be able to have fun playing Overwatch. And hopefully I can help people understand that with the hero guys that I make in the future. Make sure you like this video and subscribe for those player guys in the future.